This is Sierra Leone, West Africa. Sierra Leone, Kano District, West Africa. Not East Africa, oh. not South Africa, not North Africa. Sierra Leone, West Africa, Sierra Leone. With a population of 7.4 million people, Sierra Leone borders Guinea to the north and east, and Liberia to the southeast. Sierra Leone's life expectancy is rated at 50 years, one of the lowest in the world. With a gross domestic product of $4 billion, an estimated 70% of the population live under $2 a day. Sierra Leone is ranked one of the poorest countries in the world. Sierra Leone is a diamond-rich country. In 2015, 420,000 carats of diamond were exported from Sierra Leone, valued at 150 million US dollars. But where's that money going? Apparently, very little of the money is benefiting the communities these diamonds come from. Sierra Leone is a country of optimism, hope, and opportunity. With 60% of Sierra Leone's youth unemployed, one can't help but wonder what potential Sierra Leone can offer the world if only conditions improve. On March 16, 2017, a 709 carat diamond was reportedly found in Sierra Leone. One of the largest uncut diamonds ever discovered has been found in Sierra Leone. Immediately the world showed interest and with it the question, is the diamond found a fair trade diamond? To answer this question, we set out on an adventure to meet those that found the diamond and its owner. As the reports stated, the owner of the diamond is a pastor, and so naturally, we went to look for him at his church. When slowly and holy, he decides to follow the law. What is the weight with holy? I know Pastor Emmanuel Mamo and he even live in this community. He's a preacher. He's a local businessman, and even some of the community people depend on him. Pray for them, care for them, has concern for them. And he's very hardworking. He has concern for everyone, spiritually, physically. He's honest, humble, righteous in every little thing. Although we did not find the pastor at the church, the visit was enlightening. Determined to meet the pastor, we decided to go look for him in the marketplace where it was overheard that he works as a petty trader. We start this business with granite. From there, we grind the granite and we then supply the other markets. If you loan from him and you said you don't have, he will let you go. When he met you, he will do good things to you. He talked to you nice. I see nothing that we tell him that he failed to do for us. He advocate for us, he do what we want, and he share prayer with us. Because most of us, we are digging the diamond, but we don't know the details about the value of it. The type of diamond minerals that came out, out of this ground, this should have not been the condition of our country today. And some of them will just say about them going up and down, exporting and importing. But what we are expecting them, all Ululu and Sole that they should bring development in this country. The visit to the marketplace was reassuring that the pastor was in fact a good man. Anxious to meet him in person, we set out to Koyadu village to look for the pastor where the diamond was reportedly found. It all started in the days of our fathers. Diamonds we have found during that period, like um, 80 carats, 90 carats, but we make no profit from them. It's like those diamonds we are not taking the right way or taking to the government. That's why we gain nothing from it as a village. But for this present one, when we found this diamond, we told our supporter that we need to go straight to the government so that we'll be able to gain something profitable from it. First of all, we don't have school. And most times when the rain comes, it splash on the children in the class. We run away. So how can you run a village school where there is nothing to eat? And two, no hospital. Three, we have poor network. And four, no chance for our children to be educated. He said by the grace of God, he will help us. So we are looking to the help of God. 
They passed diamonds, whether it was taken to the government or not, we don't know. And nothing was done for this village. We are left with nothing but just the name. After hearing from the villagers about life in Koyadu, we went to visit the site where the 709 carat diamond was found, located in the forest a few kilometers from the village. This is the place where the diamond was found by Pastor Momo. We start five o'clock. We move from the bed. We come to the working place. We mine with shovels. We don't have machines that can help us. We do physical uh, chal challenges. I was seated over there on top of that stick. On top of that stick, they pulled the gravel. Chief was also pulling the gravel. They saw the diamond. The children rushed and took the diamond and gave it to Chief. Chief gave it to me and I put it in my pocket. And we gave it to our pastor. I have never seen such type of diamond before. You are doing this job without any food. You call it big pains. Visiting Koyadu village and learning how difficult life is in Sierra Leone made me realize just how much this diamond can help these people. I received an invitation from the pastor to meet him in Freetown, Sierra Leone's capital. I was on my way to meet the man everyone had so much admiration for. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Momo. I came from Konodi Street, that's the eastern part of Sierra Leone. I came from a very poor background. I left school just after the death of my father. So that makes me to become a dropout from school. And I engage on taking care of my family, assisting them. That is why I decided to engage myself in mining. I went to the village and I had for a portion of land. The chiefs give me the land. We have a license and so we have a corporate, in fact, unity. We are well united. Suddenly, while this mining is going on, on the 13th of March, this 2017, God bless me. When my workers are extracting the gravel, they found this big diamond. And I was woken up from sleep and very early in the morning, must have been a little over six, after six o'clock in the morning. And I found Pastor Momo and two other pastors. Uh, it was established that it was a diamond. We came to State House and then I handed it over uh, to the government. And, and this is like a dream come true. Uh, because I had always been dreaming that to have a diamond 50 carat upwards, it was going to be placed for public tender and um, God passed it through. Today we are here talking about an international tender. Uh, I'm excited about that. I believe this will be the dawn of a new day in Sierra Leone, where people that do find their diamonds will actually benefit from it. And when we came to the Director General's office one morning, and he told us Rappaport has expressed interest, uh, we were all excited because we know what Rappaport stands for. We know the role that Rappaport played in Sierra Leone after the Civil War to transform the image of our diamonds from blood diamonds to peace diamonds. I married to Madame Ruth Momo. She's my beloved wife. And while she's sitting down by me, and this is my mother, which uh, I love most. This is my first son, Blessing Momo. You can sit down straight so that people can see out there. <laughs> it's a Blessing Momo. We believe that with Rappaport, we can have the best. That these are the people that, you know, deviate themselves from the blood diamond. And they find out that even the people that are working for the diamond or the gem, they are not the direct beneficiaries. So they want to change that perception. So we believe with Rappaport, life of this family, the life in the village, the life of my, my, my native people, is going to be liberated. We are going to see a massive turning around with Rappaport. If the Rappaport come to the meet to this diamond, it means God is at work. So the government is transparent with the seas of the diamond. No good road, no water supply, no electricity. What to eat is absent. The diamond can bring us light here. So if you so buy the diamond, let him come with light in exchange. Butter sister, we are no more slaves. Africa, we are no more slaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Yes. Let them buy it with a very good price so that we also will be happy and have peace. I am Pastor Emmanuel Momo. I'm a diamond digger from Sierra Leone, Connor Seeds. Please buy our natural diamond.